Two-way syncs significantly speed up your workflow. Let me explain. In your calendar, like the Google Calendar or Todoist, you will notice that it's not possible to do project management. So you want to pull data from Notion, which is good for project management. However, data entering tasks and repeated tasks is easiest done in Google Calendar or Fantastical. If you do not have a two-way sync to synchronize data between the source and the destination, you will be constantly reconciling between all your task managers. A good two-way sync reduces reconciliation significantly. If you use Notion, it's the same as using relations and rollups, sync blocks and linked databases where you could update anywhere and the information will seamlessly roll into the other place. You might be wondering, why do I need to sync? Just use your preferred app and you should be happy, right? Different apps have different features, like Fantastical's data entry and widgets are just the best. Notion's data management is great, especially with so many tracking and embedded features. So it works best when you're at your desk and you want to work with all the details. To start with, you need to expose your Notion database with an integration key, which you can create from the Notion settings and members sections with just a few clicks. You note your database ID, which is easily extracted from the URL of the database. Now you need to sign up to an integrator. In order for a sync to happen, you need to connect your calendar to Notion. The challenge is that you may be carrying out any one of these four things. Add in the app or directly in Notion. Update in the app or directly into Notion. So in effect, you need four integrations. For each integration, you have to define the from database and the to database. You have to define the mapping of each of the calendar fields between the databases. So in effect, you need to test each scenario that's four times the testing. Once data has been added, the integrator will not look at the database again since it's been ticked off. So you need to create another mapping where you update the database so that the integrator will look at the edited date and time. This becomes essential in the real world. Appointments change, your priorities change. You may no longer want to do your task. Moreover, if you add a database field in Notion or in your calendar app, just because there was another functionality that you wanted, you need to relook at all of the four integrations. So at best, integrators are giving a suboptimal solution by making you configure four times. Given this complexity and because of the different permutations, you could have errors and you will have to go and hunt down the place where the error occurs. So when I found Notion Automations, I found out that you have just one mapping table and once mapped, everything is done. You also need to decide what to sync. For my customers, I created the ultimate task and project management system where I've done all of that mapping. So you don't even have to map. Just point to the Google Calendar into Notion and it picks up the two-way sync. It just works. So the real question is, what is your time worth to you? Would you be doing your work or trying to solve the problems to keep reconciling information between these calendars? This is part of an ongoing series in creating automations that really work practically. Stay tuned by subscribing and stay notified by hitting the bell icon for future videos. If you like the video, Consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.